In today's video, we are going to be talking about four things you should never do for a woman, no matter how much you love her. These four things are important in every relationship or marriage. Number one, don't be too available. In your relationship, don't be too available for your woman. Once you make yourself so available, it makes her feel that, oh, this man is just there. He's not even planning for his life. He's not even planning for what he's going to be tomorrow. So he just, he will be looking at you like you are not serious. You are on serious type. Don't take her like your first priority. Making yourself to be more available every time. Even though you, sometimes you might cancel some things that are very important to your life due to you want to like see her. You want to be there for her. You know, women, when they see something too much, it make them kind of getting irritated and getting more fed up with the love so the love will just fade up so no matter how much you love a woman don't make yourself too available you just like put yourself in the place of a woman if you are a woman as a man and you the woman that you are with always make herself so available you might not even ask her before she give it to you she just open it to you like you're like oh my god why is she so free like that giving it she don't even like deny me some time you know because you want somebody that you can be petting, like, oh, please give it to me now. Ah, please, I, I really need it. Ah, it's been long that I really have it with you, you know, stuff like that. No. You'll be more like, it's maybe the way she's giving me, she's giving it to someone outside. So it's like that. So if you're a man, don't make yourself so available for her. Also, our number two, don't change your personality. Changing your personality for a lady, she'll always tell you to change again. And she will never be satisfied. The more you change, the more you become changing day by day, night by night, minute by minute, second by second. So you continue to change every time of your life because she will get tired of that personality you change to. So you have to change to the other personality. You know, that is why you don't need to change who you are. If you are like this, tell her that this is who I am. If she want to take you like that, she will take you unless you have a bad personality. Maybe she's trying to like, advise you in the right way for you to be somebody great tomorrow for you to build your life in a way that will favor you in the rest of your life except you are in that category but if you are not you don't need to change your personality for a woman just to please her just to make her happy no you don't sacrifice yourself because once you sacrifice yourself for this lady she sometimes she might even hit you she will hit you and she will talk to you anyhow. She will disrespect you. She will say all neg sorts of negative words to you that will make you to feel hurt. You know, you don't want to be hurt. You don't want someone to hurt your feeling because you are somebody's child. So you need to be what? More pamper just the way you want to pamper the woman. So that is why you need to pamper yourself first. Let her see how you pamper yourself so that she can take from that example and pamper you as a man because you are a king and then you pamper her like a queen. So that balance the equation. Our top point, don't solve women's problem always. Solving a woman's problem always make her to feel more like, what is this man trying to prove? Is it trying to tell me that I can do it? Is it trying to tell me that I can't do it on my own? No. Allow her to solve the problem to the extent she will not come to you. Like ask you, please, can you help me to do this? Then you cannot go in. And once you do it for her and the problem solved, oh my God, she will continue to appreciate you because she value what you just did. But if you come willingly on your own and just like, let me do it because I'm the man. I can do it. She don't need to ask me. It's my right to do it for her to be happy. No. She will not be happy. And she will not recognize what you just did. She will take it like a normal thing. You understand? To like solve a problem for the person. All of a sudden, the person will just come and be like, Oh, is that why you're saying? Is that why you're standing like that? Is that why you're doing your face? Just because of that smart you just did. I bet just... I bet don't disturb me. You understand that kind of negative vibe she'll be giving you. You're like, oh, you like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to put it that way. You will not be apologizing. You can imagine. So as a man, as a king, you are. You are in the throne. So you need to uh, 
control the kingdom in the right direction so that your fellows so that your kindred that can follow your step and have a good relationship or a good kingdom Third point is compliments as a man you don't need to compliment a woman always you can do that but in a short time not every time you know women they get irritated when you do something excess it makes them feel you just want to please them you know we are just like puppet to them you know women like someone that is more kind of stiff in one way or the other not too soft not too relaxed you know the likes the women like challenges so don't be too much doing you understand don't compliment them oh i can't live without you you look so pretty oh my god i love the day. i bless the day that i met you you are the queen you are everything always you keep saying this words and once you get used to her any day you did see it to her oh my god you are in big soup so don't do it too much so that she will not feel like this man is just me all over his head without me he can't leave oh i need to like increase my chakra i need to like do this no don't too overdo overdo is too bad it's overdo overdo you know don't do it too much so that you make her not to take you for granted you want to be treated like a king so limit what you do it's not that you will not do you will do but in a limited way so that she can respect you and you can respect yourself you know when you respect yourself someone will respect you but when you put yourself on the floor for the person the person will be stepping on you so we tell you to footman so you don't want to be footman for someone because you are someone child so you want to be treated like a king so you don't need to uh, compliment a lady too much that leads to our last example don't give too much gift giving too much gift is not good because once you start this you will continue to be giving and giving and giving and giving in most cases i've seen a situation that a man gives to her lady every time if the lady celebrating birthday celebrating anything she the man always gives the lady gift but you come to a stage where this man was celebrating his birthday and he was doing some of like celebration stuff and he was expecting gifts from the lady they have been in relationship for so long relationship for seven good years but in that several good years this man have never received a gift from this lady it's just only this man that will normally give to this lady you know when you are doing something you know the person will get used to that thing so it become normal thing for the person so any day you didn't do the thing to become a big problem so that is why they say before you do something think it twice can you continue doing this for the rest of your life if you know you can't continue you need to what limit it so that it will be like occasionally surprisingly you can give but not everyday stuff so let's go back to that story and in that relationship when the man was doing his birthday some of people that he take like casual friend ladies they gifted him nice gift but this lady that he is with that he loves so much that he gives so much gift never like buy a gift for him even common pencil he didn't get this man so the man felt so bad was not rethinking like rethinking because of someone a lady that bought him gift like in his life this is his first time of getting a gift for a lady so he was so touched with that gift someone else gave to him not his own girlfriend gave him that gift on his birthday so that is what i'm trying to say don't overdo things because when you overdo it the person will you will take you like it's a normal thing that you know you need to do it it's your right to do it no it's vice versa we may gift may give so if you're in a relationship, you're a man, you're a woman, you need to give each other, compliment each other. It makes the relationship more sweet, more enjoyable, and more happy. This video, don't forget to thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to press the notification bell. Whenever we upload a new video, you can get all our uploads. So see you guys in our next video.